Today we got a Dodge Journey 2021. Uh, we are going to, uh, it's a small amp, it's only a one speaker, so I'm going to put the amp back over here because he's got a bunch of tool right there. I don't want to put it underneath right here, it might get too hot. Uh, yeah, he's got a bunch of tool, he's an AC HVAC guy, so uh, I'm going to keep, uh, actually I'm going to ask him real quick, see if he's okay with put in an amp right there so yeah he said it's okay so I'm gonna put the amp uh, it's a small amp so the amps gonna be right here uh, I'm gonna try to ground down here somewhere here it, I mean you don't have to have a good I mean you have to good get a good solid ground but you don't have to try to go to the main frame or anything like that for a little amps and some people are just like oh why do you do that uh, well because the amp ain't that big and the ground don't have to be really like a uh, competition style ground where you have to use a nuts and bolt and everything else but I'm gonna start removing this from the back to the front and then I'm gonna run it to the full gauge over here start prying this one by one right there I'm definitely gonna use this speaker for the high-low converter and uh, I'm going to remove all this out and so once I get this out right there I'm gonna move the seat backward a little bit and then move that seat forward so I can reach it so I'm gonna pull that out peel that out right here a little bit about right there and then I'm gonna start prying this right there you see one right there and then there's another one down here on the bottom if you don't have anything, just take a, uh, a flat hat and just pry it like that. So, and make sure you don't pull it too far, you'll break this plastic. So I pulled it out about uh, two and a half inch right here so I can run the power wire. I might hide it right underneath there. I'm going to grab this speaker wire right there. I don't know which one's positive or negative. I have to take a look. You start peeling this rubber out and then pry this up right here. Okay, now let's see. Pry that up again. Let's see, I can't really see it. Yep. Gotta get to the right spot right here if you can see it. So you put your flat hat and lift it. Just be careful. That can break. And then also uh, you want to remove the uh, fuse. I don't know if they put a fuse right here or not. No, they didn't. So move that first. Okay, now it come out, and then now you'll be able to pry this part out right here. So you literally pull this forward a little bit, about an inch, and then you push it out about an inch also, so it will come out. And then now you'll be able to see underneath right there, I got the light. So what you would do, you want to remove that plastic out. And then you'll see that rubber boot. You see, I don't think you need to keep that there. It's gonna fall and people wonder why it's that right there. So you see this right there? So you make an X on here and then you push your power through right there. Make an X using a blade. If it's too much, all you do is just grab one of this spot part right there and pull it out and then just do it out, outside. As you can see right here, so what I do, I push the power right through it and then put it back. So I'm gonna poke it through like that. I'm gonna leave it about a foot so I can reach it easier out the, the front. And now I'm gonna grab the wire Reach my hand in there and grab the wire. I'm gonna come up here, like there. And then this is where the power wire is gonna be at. So I'm gonna put it about right here so I can put the fuse up here and then right there. Now it's not a big of an amp, so uh, you don't have to. Uh, the battery is right underneath right there. You can run it over there by removing all this out. 
but in my case it's a small amp you don't need to run it to the battery right here is perfect because this is a, a four gauge right there and then that's a good four gauge so this is fine right here from what I'm doing now if you got like maybe a really good amp when I say good amp like a NAM brand you know maybe if you got a kicker 2400 if you if you want me to talk or punch or something 3000 4000 watt I would recommend do it to that battery over here and also probably get a good ground instead of uh, doing what I'm be doing uh, what I'm doing is just a smaller amp so it'll be fine of now I'm gonna slide this power wire right underneath in there and then same as over here and then I'm gonna looking for the speaker right there so I'm gonna cut that part right there and then take a knife and uh, and uh, peel this uh, plastic off this uh, tape off all right well I sand it right here I'm using one hand to record so I can't show it to you but I use a sander and sand it really good right here and as you remember when I mentioned earlier I'm just doing a small uh, 800 watt amps kickers, which is 400.1. Nothing big, nothing, you know, not no baddest uh, amp, anything like that. Plus, I'm doing only 112, so I'm going to ground it right here. Today, using two soft type of screw, and then that should be good. And then, uh, as you can see, like so right there. I'm running the ground over inside there. I was thinking about putting the last seat, but it doesn't work. So anyway, for the speaker wire, I used the a green, which is the light green is positive, and the darker green and gray is negative. So light green, light green, gray. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, gray and light green is positive, and then uh, gray and regular green or dark green is uh, negative. Now at this point right here, I ran it already, so uh, customers got a kiss lock too, which I installed the last time, and also I tape it. This one's gonna go to the speakers, so this one's gonna one go to positive, and one go to the negative. This is I kind of tape it. See the black tape, meaning it go to the speaker, and this one it come from the factory speaker. So what I did, I had the red wire right there, which go to the uh, uh, gray and light green will go to the gray and white for positive and then the black one from here from the uh, factory will go to the one with the stripe with the white and gray and uh, white black and gray black and then this one you just hook it up to the input of the uh, amplifier input right here on the back of the radio here and then and that's that's it that's pretty simple as that and then uh, I show you how to run the uh, fuse later I forgot to mention I did uh, screw this uh, using the uh, one and a quarter inch uh, screw and put it right here and I'm gonna zip tie this and screw another one so the wire won't be loose and up here uh, what I did I uh, <clears throat> I removed the uh, rubber the uh, insulator right here about uh, three quarter of an inch and then I put the cap first and then I'm gonna put it slide it in here and some of you might have a different type and this is a uh, four and eight gauge I removed the inside for the four gauge so and then I got the uh, the other end over here but first I'm gonna put this one first and then screw it all into this fuse right there I'm using an 80 amp fuse so I got it snuck in here I, I could use a wire loom for this one but I am not going to I'm just gonna zip tie right there I'm gonna take the uh, I believe it it's a number 14 maybe 15 I know the uh, matrix is uh, matrix uh, standard is 5.8 and I want to uh, I want to mention about this part right there. This is a long, uh, I believe it's a two uh, two inch socket right here, five inch sockets. Your best bet is to get an extension so it's go up here because if you move this and touch one of the ground right there, you you might end up blowing some fuse or might damage electrical or short something out. So be careful right there and uh, make sure you're not touching any of this black metal because you know metal to metal we create a spark and create a hazardous uh anyway uh when uh 
just uh, like comment and subscribe below if you can uh, this video is for you know some basic install nothing you know it's professional install but it's basic it's not you know it's not to a point where I had to hide all everything really 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 nice or anything like that because the pay is not all the way to the uh, you know so uh, it's just a regular standard install so uh, yeah uh, thanks again and uh, we'll see you again <laughs>